Uh, too often, Mr. Speaker, we skip over the fundamental principle and precept and driver of the Second Amendment, so let's reaffirm our faith here. Our founders were determined to fight against their own government for our freedom and, in and independence. They stated unequivocally that when there were a train of abuses and usurpations and the citizens were reduced to absolute despotism, it was our right and our duty to throw off that government. We wouldn't have these United States, we wouldn't be here today without this sacred Second Amendment. Every law-abiding citizen in America must be able to meet evil with equal or greater force, whether it's a violent criminal, a crazed killer, or a coercive government. We should, Mr. Speaker, we must reject this attempt to trample the Constitution, violate the spirit of what those founders wrote into that, to that sacred document, and to disarm our citizens. And I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Chair will advise the managers. Mr. Jordan has one minute. Mr. Nadler has six minutes. Gentleman from New York is recognized. Mr. Jo Mr. Speaker, the previous speaker on the Republican side said that uh, citizens must be able to meet the government with equal arms. The United States government has hydrogen bombs. Does he think that uh, every citizen ought to have a hydrogen bomb? 